Well, now that I have a, a real tool machine open, I think it's a good chance to explain a little bit the adjustment, the adjustments of a head. I have a sample head here, okay, and I, I will take a picture of the head. But you, you can see here that the camera can focus. Uh, the small uh, metal parts that are the it's where the, the audio is picked okay these small metal parts in here not the other big uh, matte kind of uh, metal parts the shiny ones that are in the middle okay so if we have a head that uh, picks audio from the tape like that there are three adjustments that a head uh, that should be done to a head. First, its height, it, which is that thing. Mostly, this is done uh, by eye, so you have to exactly align the tape above, just like that, with the part that is picking the audio. Uh, the second adjustment is zenith, which is that okay normally we adjust that also by eye by just doing this to the tape and see that the the upper and the lower part of the tape it's getting into co contact with the head at the same time Okay. Another way to adjust this is that uh, when the machine plays and you just touch the, the supply reel so you apply more tension, if you see one channel that is increasing uh, volume, that means that this channel is uh, further away from the head than the other. Okay. That's how you... you you adjust the zenith and the last uh, adjustment of the head is azimuth which is that this is adjusted by the use of an oscilloscope so you have a test tape and uh, you look at the oscilloscope and you adjust the head so that both channels are exactly in phase that's how you adjust the azimuth because if the head is like that then the, the the lower channel here will will pick up first the audio and the upper second so you will see the difference the difference in uh, the phase of the channels on the oscillator and you just adjust it to make it exactly like that okay exactly uh, vertical and you see on the oscilloscope that the two channels are exactly in phase. Okay, let's go and see now the head of this machine, which is here, okay, which is here, and see how, what I do normally to adjust it. Okay, so what I normally do when I want to adjust the head is I have some uh, transparent tape, as you can see here, and I use it because like that I can see the playhead behind the tape and adjust it. So, to, to adjust the height and zenith, this is, there is one screw here and one screw here. So, these two screws they adjust how high the head is and they adjust the, the relative height of back and forth so you can adjust this movement and this movement which is the azimuth is adjusted by that screw here okay that's how we do it so what I do is I because the tape is in front of this guide here I normally put it behind that guide just like that so that 
so that I can see exactly there we are so that I can see exactly oh, wait, uh, no, it's here where the where the tape touches the head so I, I have aligned this one maybe not perfectly but uh, as you can see let me see it by eye hmm. Maybe it should be no. I th I think this is perfectly aligned there. I don't know if you can see it, and I also do this just like that to see how the tape touches the head as it goes back and forth okay so this machine this machine only has one uh, playback head and it records with the same head uh, on the on the machines that have a separate uh, rec recorder playback head so then a record head should be here uh, you first uh, adjust the playback head by the use of uh, test tape and then you adjust the record head relative to the playback head because it's very convenient you can just um, record a signal see how the playback head picks it and then adjust the record head accordingly that's how it works okay i just wanted to show you some uh, basic stuff uh, regarding the adjustment of uh, position of a head relative to the tape